This is a webinar by Rionics and Investment Casting Institute, Technical Webinar Series. The title of the session is Foundry 4.0, Effective Shell Building Needs Real-Time Viscosity Monitoring and Control of Ceramic Slurries. First, let us start with an introduction to Rionics. We make instruments to measure the viscosity and density of fluids. We have customers who use our viscometers to measure the viscosity of shell building slurries. Today we will share some information about our technology, and how it can support and simplify the shell building process, from manual operations all the way to Industry 4.0 Total Automation. These are the topics we will cover today in this webinar. First, we will review the importance of viscosity for shell building, as well as the traditional methods for measuring slurry viscosity. Next, we will discuss some of the requirements for a reliable inline viscometer for slurry viscosity monitoring and control. We will then present the Rionix SRV viscometer and show its advantages for shell room viscosity management. And then we will show how the SRV fits into a total automation solution for monitoring and controlling slurry viscosity during shell production. Why is slurry viscosity important for shell building? Because it influences all stages of the process, from the first to the last layer. We will look at traditional methods of slurry viscosity measurement, and see what factors affect selection of a device for slurry viscosity measurement. Viscosity measures the rate at which a fluid flows under stress. Since shell building relies on gravity to pull excess slurry off the form and from earlier layers of green ceramic, viscosity determines the thickness of the layer that remains after each dipping process. The simplest and most direct way to ensure uniform and consistent shell layers is to measure and control slurry viscosity. Tighter control of slurry viscosity has been found to contribute to the ease and quality of shell building, as well as the quality of the finished cast goods. It is well known that slurry viscosity is one of the most important factors in determining shell quality. Many defects in shell performance can be traced directly to improper slurry viscosity during shell building. Monitoring slurry viscosity has two major functions. Rising viscosity, due to evaporation, indicates the need for dilution. Changes in viscosity may alert the operator to problems with composition, adhesion, or other parameters important to shell quality. Some of the final shell properties that are directly influenced by slurry viscosity are layer and final thickness, surface finish, permeability, strength, edge coverage, edge strength, bending strength and thermal characteristics. Some of the defects that can be caused by improper slurry viscosity are penetration, buckle, bubbles, excess metal, bridging effects and spall. What are the requirements for a good slurry viscosity measurement tool? It should be placed directly in the slurry tank and take continuous measurements of its viscosity, thereby avoiding delays between sampling and evaluation of measurements. It should be invisible to the operator. It should require no re-recalibration, no cleaning, no disturbance of the flow of the shell building process. It should be capable of supplying signals that can be used by automated viscosity controls. Despite its importance to shell quality, slurry viscosity is still measured by century-old methods that interface poorly with emergent industry 4.0 standards. Rionics SRV and slurry track technology offer a simple and efficient bridge to bring slurry management up to the modern standards that prevail in today's highly automated shell rooms. But first, let's look at how viscosity has been monitored in the shell room up to now. Two main methods have been used to measure slurry viscosity, efflux cups and rotational viscometers. Traditional methods of viscosity measurement are limited in their ability to supply the data needed for inline viscosity control. Viscosity cups are filled with slurry, and the time necessary for it to drain from the cup is recorded. This time gives slurry viscosity in cup seconds. The many uncertainties in procedures, as well as wear and deposits on cups, contribute to less than optimal accuracy and repeatability of cup measurements. Rotational viscometers and rheometers measure the torque necessary to turn a disc or cylinder at a constant RPM in a sample of the slurry. The ratio of torque to spindle speed is proportional to viscosity, usually measured in centipoise. Lab measurement reports often arrive hours after the samples are taken. 
you can only correct how the slurry was, not how it is now. Neither of these methods is easily adaptable to real-time, inline control of slurry viscosity. Cup measurements interrupt the flow of the shell building process. The measurements must be recorded and entered manually into whatever automation processes they are linked to. Rotational viscometers are delicate instruments that prefer labs to shell rooms. By the time the laboratory reports on the viscosity of a slurry sample, it no longer reflects the actual condition of the slurry in the tank. Neither of these methods is easily adaptable to real-time, inline control of slurry viscosity. Cup measurements interrupt the flow of the shell building process. The measurements must be recorded and entered manually into whatever automation processes they are linked to. Rotational viscometers are delicate instruments that prefer labs to shell rooms. By the time the laboratory reports on the viscosity of a slurry sample, it no longer reflects the actual condition of the slurry in the tank. Vibrational viscometers have the advantage of giving real-time inline measurements of viscosity. Each has its limitations, including the following. Difficult maintenance. Easy to damage during installation and cleaning. Tend to be heavy, bulky, and sensitive to damage. That is because they use vibrationally unbalanced resonators that need large counterweights to work accurately. Some are very sensitive to outer shocks and vibration. What characteristics would an ideal slurry viscometer possess? Inline real-time, operator-independent measurement. Maintenance and calibration free. Accurate and repeatable. Fast response. Logs viscosity data. Provide a path to full shell room automation through automatic viscosity control. We'll next discuss the Rionix SRV, a small, light, robust inline process viscometer that is easy to install in slurry tank and is immune to outer influences. We will discuss its advantages over traditional methods and show how it establishes a path to real-time slurry viscosity control. SRV is a compact inline sensor. It can be mounted directly in the slurry tank to give immediate, real-time viscosity measurements. Its readings are independent of operator skill or judgment. It is robust and never needs recalibration. It reads the temperature of the slurry as its viscosity is being measured, allowing optional compensation for viscosity variations with temperature. The SRV's patented technology is based on damping of a balanced torsional resonator by the viscosity of the fluid in which it's immersed. When a torsional resonator is placed in a fluid, its vibrations are damped by frictional interaction with the fluid. The higher the viscosity, the more it is damped. The SRV and its associated electronics measure this damping and use it to calculate the fluid's viscosity. The SRV resonator is unique, because it is balanced, like a torsional tuning fork, to minimize its interaction with its environment. It maintains its accuracy and calibration no matter where or how it is installed. The SRV can be easily mounted on the slurry tank without interfering with other equipment. It provides continuous measurements, which show the instantaneous condition of the slurry once a second, as well as indicating its temperature. No interruption of the casting process to get a viscosity reading. Traditional methods interrupt the casting process and introduce delays between sampling and viscosity reading. SRV measures viscosity and temperature in real time, with no interruption of the casting process to pull samples, and no delay between measurement and reading. To recap the advantages of inline, immediate viscosity measurement, it replaces offline measurements using cups and rotational viscometers. It is independent of operator skill, maintenance free, provides robust measurements and is reliable. SRV integrates seamlessly into existing slurry drums and shell room environments. There is no need to redesign equipment to accommodate inline viscosity measurement. Here is a typical use case of the Rionix SRV viscometer inside the shell room. SRV shows when slurry is getting thicker due to evaporation. Operator compensates adding diluent. SRV shows trend of slurry viscosity and helps predict problems before they happen. Operator can take corrective action if viscosity deviates from control limits. Because it is in the tank where the slurry is being mixed, 
its readings reflect the consistency of the actual material being applied to the shell. Displays and Logs Viscosity Data Log can be used for analyzing the slurry and supporting data-driven quality improvements. Measurements in digital form, so the viscosity can be recorded and entered into the factory automation system without human intervention. Here are some details of the recommended mounting of the SRV in the slurry tank. The SRV is provided with a tank adapter that both protects the sensing element and enables secure mounting with minimal hardware. In this part, we show how the SRV can be integrated into a fully automated shell room. Two scenarios are possible. Option 1. SRV is used as a viscosity sensor. Its electronics can be supplied with a built-in display so that the operator can read the viscosity value. It can also be wired to the customer's own monitoring and control systems, for example a PLC with associated control valves. A second option, the sensor, together with its associated control system, would provide automatic maintenance of slurry viscosity with minimal operator intervention. The SRV probe can be installed in the slurry drum using the tank mount adapter, which also protects it from impact from other equipment or large chunks of undispersed slurry additives. The SRV is connected to the sensor electronics unit which can be integrated into the tank mount, or by means of a cable for remote installation. Here are the components of the system. SRV sensor. Slurry track predictive controller. And, optionally, control valves for dosing slurry diluents or other additives. In this first integration option, the sensor is connected to the customer's PLC by any one of a number of interfaces. The PLC is programmed by customer automation engineers to fit the specific measurement and control requirements of the customer. A solenoid valve can be controlled by the PLC to dose additives to correct viscosity. A schematic view of the sensor with integrated electronics unit installed in the slurry drum. In the remote connection option, the sensor is connected by a cable to the electronics package, which may, for instance, be located along with the customer's PLC. Another option for integrating the SRV into shell room automation is the Rionics Slurry Track. Slurry Track is a turnkey solution that provides slurry viscosity control right out of the box. It is built on three pillars. The SRV sensor. A predictive controller, which can send control signals to valves that control diluents and other additives to the slurry tank. An intuitive user interface with process lock software, with one-touch viscosity setting. Installation is easy and plug and play. The system can be used as a monitoring and recording device, as shown here. The SRV is mounted in the slurry drum, and connected to the slurry track system by means of a cable. The operator can observe viscosity trends on the monitor. The system provides a log to enable long-term process monitoring and integration into factory data systems. Slurry track can also be used for process viscosity control. In this case, Slurry Track's predictive tracking controller provides signals to open valves to dose diluents or other additives to the slurry drum. The intuitive operator interface allows one click setting of slurry viscosity. Slurry Track's controller actuates a valve system that accurately doses diluent into the slurry tank as its viscosity rises due to evaporation. Its small, frequent dilutions reduce viscosity variations to an absolute minimum with a uniformity and accuracy unmatchable using either cups or rotational viscometers. Its three functional elements work together to provide a transparent, responsive and accurate viscosity control, requiring minimal intervention by the operator. The slurry track system is installed in a heavy stainless steel housing, which is equipped with its own industrial PC and touchscreen displays. The operator can choose a viscosity set point from the touchscreen interface, and lock the system to that set point. Connect the sensor, mount the controller, wire up the valve, and it's ready to go. Here is an actual slurry viscosity log of a one-week production run. Notice that the viscosity is indicated in centipoise, which is the physical unit for viscosity. Cup seconds is a measurement that refers to the cup and stopwatch method. Use of a finer grain scale also permits a finer control. Notice the stability of the baseline viscosity. 
that is because the operator has used the values of the SRV viscosity measurements to make dilutions when the viscosity has risen above the baseline value. Also, notice the outlier reading. The viscosity rise is too rapid to be caused by evaporation. This should alert the operator that the sensor may need attention, for instance, to free it from accumulated debris. Here is the same plot showing details of two slurry dilution events. The slow rise of viscosity indicates loss of water by evaporation. The operator manually dosed water to restore the viscosity to his desired value, about 170 centipoys. Rionix Solutions equips the shell rooms with viscosity intelligence, automation and management. It is easy to integrate in existing shell rooms, brings in transparency and traceability and is futuristic. It enables data-driven process control and optimization and contributes to operator independence, contributing to reliable shell room operations. Customers report improvements in shell quality due to more uniform coating. This results in more efficient operations, improved productivity and easy scaling of operations. This paves the way for full automation with its attendant reduction of scrap, rejects and excessive materials consumption. Eliminating the need for slurry sampling means a safer and cleaner workplace. Industry 4.0 compatibility paves the way toward data-driven decision-making and fault analysis. Rionix SRV with slurry track brings accurate, repeatable slurry viscosity control up to the standards required of modern industrial automation. It removes the subjectivity and long-time delays of traditional methods, making possible inline, real-time monitoring and control of slurry viscosity. Slurry track improves both shell quality and job-to-job -job consistency, reducing waste and rejects, while streamlining the viscosity measurement and control process. In doing so, it frees the operators to concentrate on what they do best, applying their art and experience to producing the best possible castings in an increasingly automated world of industry. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to working with casting processionals and applying our knowledge of sensors to ensuring data-driven quality control.